Okay, in this video we're going to uh, open up the Attacker Intelligence Spray Robot to find out whether or not the 3.7 volt built-in battery can be replaced or serviced when the time comes. I'm going to use the little screwdriver that came with the robot. This is the one for taking the battery door off on the remote. And I can see initially it looks like maybe four screws holding the body shells together. And I haven't opened it up before so I can't tell you. Obviously it's turned off or it would be squawking and talking to us right now. Very small screw. Not expecting to see up very much inside here because this design of the robot has the motors in the feet and of course this is just uh, linkage so there's not going to be any mechanics in there for that so it's just two motors that have to be controlled and then of course the uh, fogger ultrasonic water fogger that they're using as a smoker other than that there should just be a speaker and a control board and a battery well all the lights all the LEDs of course but mechanically speaking not much screws are very small this is the uh, fourth one coming out right now. I realize you can't see much, but I don't have a cameraman, so just bear with me here. Let's see what we can find out. Will the front come off, or will the back come off, or will nothing come off? So far, nothing is wanting to come off. Are there any other hidden screws? Body separates here so this part doesn't split open but this part should I don't see any other screws on any of this this part does seem to be a separate piece you would assume that the battery would be located in there looks like that is held together with screws I don't, unless there's screws hidden underneath there, I don't see anything that's keeping it together. A little bit of an opening down here in the bottom. Really tight, it's like there's still some screws holding it together. See, I can get a bit of a crack going there, but it's really, really snug. I don't see any snaps, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. Now that seems to have made some progress. Let's try a larger flat blade so I can actually get some rocking action here. So maybe there, maybe there is just some snaps still kind of holding it together. I'd like to be able to get the, the top to kind of come loose. I can see that there are a couple of screws that hold the head on, so just maybe the head might pinch the top of the body together. I can see the speaker is up in the head. There's three screws on the head that I can see so far. And of course, they don't want to fall out. Okay, the head is splitting. That's a good sign. Alright, that freed it up. So you have to do the head. Of course, now everything wants to fall apart. You know, arms want to fall off, all that. All that kind of good stuff. 
There's one of the arms in this linkage. Let's get the other one off. So now you can get a peek in there. The arm linkages went to those two posts. You can see the little speaker. The gun. The lower legs just plug in. Not marked with a left and right. If I unplug those, is there any chance I'm going to get the left and right back where they belong? Probably not. But we'll do it anyway. If I had a felt pen marker here, I'd mark them. So, as you can see now, you have the whole lower leg section. And there's just uh, two motor wires, as I stated earlier, that simply go down to that. So in the body itself, we're down to this one uh, processor board. We've got this, which obviously is going to have the battery inside because there's no other place for the battery to be hidden. And you can see the switch. At least everything plugs in. All of the wires for the ultrasonic transducer setup plug in, speaker plugs in, everything's plug in. So I mean you could tear this thing you could tear this thing down, I think. Let's find out about this battery though. That was the point. I can see one screw down in this black. So let's just start. Let's start with that. It's the uh, wires for the uh, on-off switch that are keeping me from sliding this off all the way. The battery, oop, I guess the speaker and the head was just sitting there. Let's, uh, let's get it out of the way, it plugs in. So we've got the speaker and the head removed. There are two screws that would hold the entire battery assembly on. I'm guessing that if we remove those two screws, that also holds, I think, at the same time the circuit board in place. So the board would be free, and that would mean I could probably just unplug these switch wires. See, there's wires from the switch that are running in here. And that's what's keeping me from pulling this off right now, because the wires are taut. But if I unscrewed the entire battery holder, and freed everything up, then I should be able to unplug the switch. So it's actually a fairly easy toy for them to manufacture and assemble. Looks like a lot of thought went into it, which is good. be a pin holding that. Okay. So all of the battery wires are pluggable and go into the board, the switch. So yes. And there is in fact the battery. Let's turn this around. It's hard for me to be holding this up in space. I normally work on a on a bench type surface. And there you can see the battery. You could unplug it and come up with another one, which I don't know how hard that would be. I'd Looks like a little battery you might find in some uh, small home phones, cordless phones, and stuff like that. As far as the circuit board goes, there's quite a few chips on it.
You know, I, I just realized I didn't, in the demonstration video for this toy, I didn't demonstrate the hand gestures. Dang it. I'm going to have to go back and reshoot the demonstration video. All right. That's it for the uh, teardown.